While the COVID-19 vaccines are rolling out, testing continues to be a big part of slowing the spread of the virus. Imagine getting a test, putting the sample into a device, and having your smartphone tell you if you're positive or not. That's what a team of Bay Area researchers are trying to make happen, and they just made a big breakthrough that's bringing them closer to making this vision a reality. Earlier today, I spoke with Dr. Melanie Ott, who is one of the team's leaders about this new technology. Dr. Ott, thanks so much for joining us on the program. I wanted to have you just explain to us the technology. Let's start there. Explain how it works and what it is. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, the technology is, is relatively simple. Um, we discovered a new way to measure SARS-CoV-2 RNA and nasal swabs um, by combining CRISPR technology with mobile phone technology. So you take a sample in, with a nasal swab, you extract RNA, um, you mix it with a, with a CRISPR enzyme called Cas13A that can directly measure um, SARS-CoV-2 RNA. When it finds SARS-CoV-2 RNA in the sample, it lights up. Um, and that fluorescence is measured by the camera of the uh, mobile phone that is connected to a, to a small um, microscope. So how did you come up with this idea? <laughs> yes, thank you for asking. So we came up with this idea um, about two years ago, um, together with my colleagues Jennifer Doudna and Dan Daniel Fletcher from UC Berkeley. Um, we were looking for a way to um, directly measure viral RNA in samples. And at that time, we were thinking about HIV as an as a, a infection that we wanted to measure. The reason why we wanted to do this is that uh, more and more people living with HIV are now thinking of um, taking maybe treatment interruptions or also entering cure studies as we are entering a final stage of curing this disease. Um, and so there is a need for, um, for at home or point of care measures for, for viral RNA. Um, and in order not to go to the hospital or to the lab every day or every second day, I think there, there's really a desire now to, to do this um, um, much more user friendly. Um, and so that's when we started to, to think about it. And the, the CRISPR technology that Jennifer developed really lends itself beautifully to, um, to an at-home or point-of-care measure or test because it can directly measure RNA in the, in, in, in the sample. Most of the other technologies that we are currently um, having, like PCR or also some other um, uh, technologies that are going after the viral RNA, are using all an amplification step. And in order to amplify, you have to reverse transcribe the RNA into DNA. What we are doing is we are omitting this step and we're leaving the RNA as it is, and we're measuring it directly um, with the Cas13A enzyme. Uh, Dr. Ott, is it true that because cell phones are involved, um, that this is something that is a lot less expensive and also perhaps quicker because you don't have to wait on a lab to get involved with these results. Is that true? Yes, I think the, uh, the, the, the goal is really to have, an, to have a diagnostic or a test uh, that would work in between five to 30 minutes um, from the nasal swab to the result. That's not what we have shown currently with the, um, with the current technology, but we are um, working very hard and making this, this a reality. So instead of uh, taking a swab and then sending it into a lab and then getting your result back, I think the idea is that you either go to a pharmacy or to a doctor's office and you get your, your test immediately and your result immediately, or eventually in the future, uh, potentially have a clip on to your, to your cell phone at home and to do this uh, by yourself. Uh, this would be revolutionary because a big part of the problem right now with the pandemic is the fact that uh, people either A, don't have access to testing or B, they are getting tested, but they're waiting multiple days for results, which of course you run the risk of having them spread the virus during that waiting period. So this is really a game changer. 
Yes, we, we think it would be absolutely important to have a test ready um, later in the pandemic or in the, um, in the future for a future pandemic um, where we could measure ourselves or test ourselves daily. Because if we could do this daily or even every three days, um, we would have the pandemic under control. If everybody would be measuring um, and would um, in a positive test isolate and have no contact with others, um, this pandemic, according to modeling from Harvard, could be under control. But this only this only works if we do not wait um, a day or two for the result. And Dr. Ott says her team is working toward producing the device for doctor's offices, airports, schools, and pharmacies first. Again, that would mean you would get your results in under 30 minutes. Pretty cool stuff. Then they'd make a device for everyone at home. Of course, before that happens, they would need an emergency use authorization from the federal government.